Boker Tov, Yom Tov, Zoharim Tovim, and Laila Tov, no matter where you're at. This is Carrie again speaking from my heart. I just had a real quick thing that I wanted to talk about regarding the English translations of the Bible. Because we have the word translated from the Hebrew and the Aramaic in the form and the fashion that it was delivered to us, the the concern, and I wanted to bring attention to this, and for some of my new subscribers it might be shocking and it actually might even cause you to not want to be a part of this channel, and I totally understand. But it is my job as a very direct person to speak things that I see so that others can begin to audit what they believe, um, their indoctrinations, things that they have brought into their lives, so that we can cut away the things that no longer serve us any longer. What the English translation has done in many times will actually put us on the path of service to self. The reason why I say this, and I used to be there, so I am speaking totally from my own experience of not realizing that, that I had good intentions, but my good intentions were putting me on the wrong path, the service to self. I felt that it was my job to save the entire world. I thought it was my job to be like an evangelist and go and witness to everybody to tell them that they needed to repent, they needed to turn and come to Jesus right away because if they didn't, they were going to go to hell and they were going to have eternal separation. So I literally felt like that's what I was supposed to do. So in all my relationships, that was what I was trying to share. Well, come to find out, I was actually on the path of serving myself. Because if I could get everyone to believe the way I wanted to, it was actually like a source of control and manipulation to make me feel more comfortable. Oh, so you're a believer in Jesus. Okay, so we can get along. Oh, we have the same Bible. We have the same word. Well, you can tell that that isn't sustainable and hence why we have so many different denominations because they have their own ideas about the, what the word says, how to do it. We have people that saying there's contradictions left and right and center, the Old Testament, the New Testament. We don't have to worry about the Old Testament because the New Testament tells us that we can throw it away because Jesus said that he came to abolish that. Well, I am saying that it, it comes to a point where we need to be able to set that English translation aside and begin to embrace what was really being said through the Hebrew and the Aramaic scriptures so that we can get ourselves off the path of service to self and allow others to find their path on their own. The biggest thing that we can do if we want to help humanity is to be the change and do it within so we can manifest it outwardly without encroaching upon everyone else's sovereign right to choose their path. The more that we become the more that we are able to sow in the collective and raise our conscious, our own personal conscious level, then it impacts the consciousness of the collective, which then gives them ability through neuroplasticity to have access to other pathways to get them where we all need to be, which is that path to unconditional love. So I just thought I would throw that out there, that um, that's what I've seen, that the English translations do. Few people are able to navigate through that and see the greater message, but if you really want the path of spirituality that is going to assist all of us in the fullness of entering into the age of light and love, my suggestion to you is begin to study the letters of light. Take a look at the Hebrews letters, begin to learn their shapes, just like you had to learn your ABCs, begin to learn their paleo meanings of like an olive is a strength and the leader and it's an ox. Um, learn what the bet is and begin to see how love is manifested through the basic paleo meanings because without love everything is vanity so that's my point for today regarding <laughs> regarding the English translations and then choosing to embrace the Hebrew and the Aramaic because I promise you it will transform you into a vessel of light and love so that we can fully all enter into that age that we've all been waiting for which is the experience of now connecting heaven to earth. Shalom, shalom and namaste.